Sabadi crap to all my fellow carpenters out there. In today's episode we are going to building this. I would like to try shooting videos while I'm welding. Never did before, so in this Creative Thoughts episode I'm experimenting. I'm building a case that holds in place my GoPro camera behind a black glass from an old welding helmet. Before uh, jumping to it, if you think I deserve, of course, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, with that being said, let's to build some and let's to have fun with! Uh, I rewind the tape, back from scratch, and here I am, beginning today's project with this scrap piece of play hood 2cm thick and a black handy glass from an old welding helmet. I never shot videos while I'm welding, no experience about, so in this Creative Thoughts episode I'm going to build a case that holds my camera behind a black welding glass. I just uh, measured the glass thickness that is 2.5 mm, so with a 3 mm straight router bit I'm going to cut a 2 mm deep groove to hold the glass in place. After doing uh, some measurements I'm going to mark the camera position and where the groove should be cut in. Alright, um, groove is marked, so let's go cut it with this uh, useful jig that I built a long time ago. Before do that, I'm uh, screwing uh, the piece firmly in place. I'm squaring uh, the jig at myself uh, with the, the mark groove. Then I check the groove that cut that should be two millimeter, and here I am. Let's clamp it down. I'm checking one more time the groove cut depth, 2 mm, fine. And uh, go for the cut. that uh, the groove is done, let's proceed by measuring uh, where to cut the four faces that uh, are composing the case.
with my meter saw I'm going to do all the cuts that are at um, 45 degrees angle. Let's see now if the cut that I just did were accurate as they should be by assembling the case for the first time. Perfect, spot on. To frame in place the case, I'm going to use uh, angles like this. Let's take more measurements. With the, the same uh, router straight bit used to cut the groove, I'm going to cut a recess to hold my GoPro firmly inside the case. So the camera will uh, remain in without screws or any sort of holder. Also because the case height is limited to the glass height. Alright, here I am. The recess is done. I cut it a little bit uh, longer than my GoPro length because uh, I have another camera so I can fit both of cameras in the same case. Let's uh, to assemble it uh, one more time just to check if uh, everything uh, is in order. Perfect, uh, spot on, all the pieces fit in the proper way. Before to proceed, I'm going to add this uh, M4 threaded insert to hold the case on a tripod. I already drilled the hole, so let's uh, screw it in. Everything is in order, so let's glue the case together. So, everything is in order, let's clamp it down and uh, give time uh, to the glue to cure. As you can see, I didn't glue the upper case side. I'm uh, drilling holes to hold in place small magnets 
like this. So, the case uh, is more uh, user friendly. I will be able to, qu to quickly open it, may change the glass, uh, position, activate the camera, etc, etc, etc. I'm uh, proceeding uh, really slow, so I won't uh, damage uh, the playhood uh, in uh, any sort. marking uh, where to drill uh, the corresponding hole that holds the other magnet in place. Now that uh, the holes uh, are done, let's uh, fit uh, the magnet uh, in place. I drilled very tight holes that hold the magnet firmly in place, so I don't need any kind of glue. I'm adding two magnets for each hole and here I am, the case cover clicks in perfectly. Last uh, step of the process, just for fun, make the case more appealing, I'm going to laminate it with uh, this nice black formica left over from past projects. And uh, finally, let uh, clamp uh, heat down, give time uh, to the glue to cure, and uh, here I am, done! The case for my action cameras is ready. No clue if it is going to work or not, cause, as I said before, no experience whatsoever about. I never shot a video while I'm welding. Let's find it out on the next episode where I'm going to shoot a welding video for my first time ever. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.